It is said that a Greek mathematician, Pythagoras, was always looking at things. And one day, when he was looking at a tile floor, he saw something very curious. He saw that there are the same number of tiles in the two squares on the sides of a right triangle as there are tiles in the square on the base. This certainly looks to be true here. But is it true for all triangles? Pythagoras concluded that for all right triangles, the sum of the squares of the sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Possibly so, Pythagoras. But let us investigate this theorem for ourselves. First, what can we find out by looking at a series of triangles with two equal sides? We are most interested in the squares of the three sides. So we will use these squares to show the area of the squares of the two sides. And this square will show the area of the square of the base. In this triangle, when the apex angle is very large and the side opposite, or base, is nearly twice as large as either side, it is quite obvious that the sum of the squares of the sides is much less than the square of the base. We will let the apex angle become smaller, and when it has reached 90 degrees or a right angle, we see that the sum of the squares of the sides equals the square of the base, which is what we expected to see. Let us check the triangles in either direction from 90 degrees. If the apex angle is slightly larger than 90 degrees, we see that the sum of the squares of the sides is smaller than the square of the base. And when the apex angle is less than 90 degrees, we see that the sum of the squares of the sides is greater than the square of the base. And as the apex angle continues to become smaller, the sum of the squares of the sides becomes yet greater than the square of the base. From these examples, we might conclude that only with the isosceles triangle, which is also a right triangle, does the sum of the squares of the sides equal the square of the base or hypotenuse? Now Pythagoras said the theorem is true for all right triangles. So let us look more closely at right triangles. Possibly the surveyors of ancient Egypt using knotted measuring ropes were the first to discover that a triangle with sides of three four, and five units will be a right triangle. This would always give them a 90 degree angle or a square corner for practical use. If we take the square of each side of this triangle, we find that the sum of the squares of the sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. How might we see whether the Pythagorean theorem is true for all right triangles, including those which are difficult to measure? If we hold the hypotenuse at a fixed length, we see that as we increase this angle, the square of the side opposite this angle will become larger. and the square of the side opposite this angle 
will become smaller. Therefore, we can see that the sum of the squares of the two sides seems to remain equal. To provide a graphic check of the truth of this theorem for a right triangle, we can divide the square on one side like this. We now move the pieces onto the square on the hypotenuse. Then, when we place the square of this side upon it, we can see that the sum of the squares of the sides equals the square of the hypotenuse. We try our graphic check again. and find that the theorem still holds. We try it again, and again we find that the sum of the squares of the two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So we have shown that the Pythagorean theorem seems to be true only for a right triangle and seems to hold true for every right triangle. But a mathematician is not content to let his proof rest on even a multitude of such graphic examples. He studies a single example and reasons step by step from facts that are true until he arrives at a proof that is true for every possible example. One mathematician proved the Pythagorean theorem this way. He set four congruent right triangles so that the sides, A plus B, form a large square. Each hypotenuse, C, forms the side of a smaller square. The area of the large square is equal to the side, A plus B, squared. And the area of the large square is also equal to four times the area of each triangle, or four times one-half AB, plus the area of the smaller square, which is C squared. We simplify the equation using the rules of algebra. And we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This proves the theorem to be true. Notice that the proof holds true for any right triangle, regardless of the length of a, b, and c. We assume that the inside figure is a square, but in a rigorous proof, this assumption should also be proved. Another mathematician, proving the same theorem, set his four congruent right triangles like this, so that the hypotenuse of each triangle is the side of the larger square. The area of the large square is equal to four times the area of each triangle. 4 times 1 half AB, plus the area of this small square, which is A minus B squared. And the area of the large square is also equal to the square of each side, or C squared.
The equation is simplified, and again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Mathematicians have worked out several hundred different proofs for this one theorem to show that Pythagoras was indeed right. Each of these mathematicians arranges facts, which have already been proved true, to reason to the same statement, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And each mathematician likes to believe that his own proof is the simplest, or the most interesting, or the most beautiful. And then he may look for new relations. If the sum of the squares of the two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, will the same relation hold true for the areas of any other set of similar figures which are proportional to the three sides of the right triangle? Will the sum of the volumes of the cubes on the two sides of a right triangle equal the volume of the cube on the hypotenuse? When a theorem has been proved true by mathematical reasoning, it is not only a practical tool, but even more importantly, it will serve as a foundation of truth upon which more mathematical ideas can be built.